Well, welcome again. I'm here at uh, 2022 Hershey uh, RV show in Hershey, PA, and I made it to the Winnebago uh, display. And I'll try to show you a little bit around. Uh, there's a lot of rigs, a lot of RVs. Um, and they kind of emphasize mainly on the uh, vans. And I'm just gonna go through them and show them a little bit. Hopefully uh, you would love what you get to see. Um, it's pretty crowded right now. It's uh, later in the day. It's uh, three o'clock almost. So here's the infamous Echo 22A with twin beds in the back. Lots of outdoor storage. Echo 22A show pricing goes for $145,995. So I'll just uh, take you inside and show you around. It's a four transit chassis. You have a TV in the top. You can carry four passengers, a nice table. Storage above the seats. Lots of people inside, so I apologize. Um, yeah, I'll come back to this later because it's impossible right now. Instead, I'll just uh, give you a, a tour of the Revel. Revel 44E. <clears throat> Revel 44E, if I'm not mistaken, this one goes for $149,995 as well. It's a uh, 4x4, so it's a really rugged look on a Mercedes uh, Sprinter. Great wheels, sidestep, and outdoors table. As you uh, enter, the refrigerator is right here on the side. Um, oh, there we go. With a little freezer. It's not big, but it will do the job. A nice deep pocket storage on top of the cab. Beautiful cab. Small table with seats. I guess storage in the back. Seat belts. Storage on top. Your control unit. This one has a Euro loft. It's a loft bed, which I like. A uh, small kitchen, after all it's a van, but this one will enable you to bring your toys with you like bikes and uh, I don't know, uh, anything that you might have for your adventures and then the bed is on top so you just control it uh, with hydraulic and electronically this thing comes down and here you have your queen size bed. Just like that. And then here is your bathroom. And right now it's uh, configured to have these shelves in case you want to have it for storage, but these are removable. And then here you have your toilet and your shower and fan. And then this uh, opens up and uh, there's a curtain that goes along here so it's not the biggest and definitely you need to sit down to uh, shower but it's very nice it's rugged it's uh, you know definitely an outlander um, so four by four hundred and fifty thousand dollars I guess again yeah hundred and fifty thousand dollars the Winnebago Revel 44e What else do we have? We have the Winnebago Era 70A. And this one goes for 159995, technically 160. Also, let's see. This one sits on again a Mercedes. It's beautiful. Look at that awning. Gorgeous. And uh 
Let's see. It's pretty busy today, so we're gonna try to do it as quickly as possible. Nice storage, accessible from the outside. A leaf table to extend your kitchen surface. This one, I believe, folds out and becomes another bed. There we go, all your control unit is right here. Storage. All the bells and whistles that Mercedes has to offer. Beautiful color. Light controls. Cabinets, two burner stove, a round sink, a refrigerator, and a separate freezer at the bottom. So the refrigerator top and a drawer style freezer at the bottom. This is very nice. A microwave. And here is your shower, toilet. Tiny. And then the bedroom. There you go. Twin bed. The TV in there. I gotta get out of here because yeah, I don't right. want to be banned because of a copyright with the music playing in the background. It's always an issue with YouTube channels, so I hope I don't get. Uh, um, Flagged for that. This is the Travato 59K, $120,000 show price. This one sits on a Ram Promaster chassis. And um, it's a very uh, un open space structure not much to uh, see in there because again it's very busy but you have the bathroom in the back which is nice and then you have the twin beds in the back which also serves as your sofas during the day lots of cabinets for storage above on both sides a TV with a sound bar, nice uh, big kitchen for this size of a vehicle, nice deep sink, and two burner stove, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, and a beautiful cockpit with uh, swiveling seats and a pocket storage on top. Oh, this goes out and snaps so it becomes an L shape. That's nice. I would actually enjoy this having here and it's pretty unique. It disappears. And another table, lagoon table here and all your control units at the top of the entrance door. Overall, pretty nice. Let's continue and see what else do we have. The ERA, the ERA 70X for 150 k And this is a Mercedes uh, chassis with uh, four seats. I believe these seats somehow turn to face each other and you could easily sleep a little child. Nice cabinetry, control units, long kitchen, three burner stove, smaller sink, lots of storage space, drawers, refrigerator, microwave, and here is your sofa. I'm sorry it's so loud because the AC is running. 
which flips and then with this cushions you become a king size bed here in the back you have a closet here and a, a toilet shower again it's not spacious enough you definitely have to sit down to shower but at least it's here but the looks overall is very chic so this was the era this is a travato 120,000 59G on Ram Promaster. Unfortunately, it's not very spacious. Lagoon table, control units. So I guess the table goes in there, so you can have a table, four passengers, um, drawer style, freezer, refrigerator, microwave, fan. This one I like because it's got a permanent bed in the back, which can be lifted up, as you can see. And then there's an actual corner bathroom, which is so much more spacious than the rest and this one has this accordion door for privacy so that's kind of unique and cool i actually like this layout the most for the travato and here you have the uh the screen for mosquitoes it, yep i gotta get finished up i'm sorry i just got back i gotta find somebody okay. give me just one second yeah it's pretty nice. The garage space is huge when the bed is down. You have all your water controls here with your exterior shower. More storage in case you want to add some hooks so you can put your uh, bungees or climbing gear or stuff like that. It's not very deep, but it's enough for hanging stuff. This is really, really cool. I like this. Um, this is another Travato, Travato. There's so many Travatos for some reason. This one is a Solus. Let's check out the Solus. 59PX. And uh, show pricing is $110,000. Let's walk inside. The uh, refrigerator here is at the entrance, just like the other one. If only I could open it. Maybe it's broken. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, here we go. There you go. Two burner stove. Again, the same kind of seating with a little table that swivels. Wee wee. But this one is pretty cool because it has the pop top. And here you can sleep two more adults. Spacious comfortable and longer than I think 6.5 and that makes it really cool all your control units here here you have little kind of a um, place for your gear and then if you want there's a table so you can put your chair there or here and then utilize this as your office space that's pretty cool There we go. And then this comes down and so does the bed, the cushions, and makes it into a nice big bed. Pretty comfortable. The Solus is pretty cool, especially with the top pop. And here is your bathroom. Not bad. Definitely no stand up, sit down to shower kind of a system. But overall, 
it's pretty cool. Lots of space for storage, cabinets, and other, um, okay. There we go. An extended leaf to give you more counter space. And as you can see, two people sleep in the back and two people on the top. That's pretty cool for the Solus. What else?